Hello. Hi there, welcome. Hey, so welcome to your mindfulness moment on Tuesday um, here at A Step. Um, yeah, so at A Step, we, we provide social, emotional, and mindfulness tools for young people all over the globe. And, um, oh, I didn't even introduce myself. Uh, I'm Sebastiani, and um, I'm a volunteer teaching artist here. Um, I am so excited to be here with you today and to talk a little bit uh, in depth about mindfulness and about, um, particularly about meditation. So today we're going to um, sit together and do some meditation. So what meditation is for me um, and why I think that it's a great thing to offer in our arts programming and for young people is that what it really is is it's just the practice of self-studying. Hi, hello, happy Tuesday to you too. I think that's Tiffany. Um, but anyway, it's um, yeah, it's great to be here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spend a couple of minutes um, and we're going to practice sitting with ourselves so that we can um, do a little bit of self-study and that we can get to know our workings of our minds a little bit deeper. So um, I think when I started to meditate, I was really kind of confused about why it happened, what, why it had any value, and how it could help my life. Um, and so today I just want to talk a little bit about that and talk about how um, it's a really simple thing. And what it is, is that we, when we sit in meditation, we have the opportunity to notice how our mind works um, so that when we're out in the world, not in our practice seated, um, we have some skills to be able to understand, oh, hey, my mind's responding this way, or I have um, this emotion coming up, or I'm feeling angry or sad or what have you. Um, and to be able to decide, well, how do I really want to respond to this situation? Um, so it's a great tool for meeting the, um, those moments in the world that are not how we envision that they might go. Um, it also helps us connect deeper to ourselves and our loved ones. It helps us focus. Um, it helps bring fresh oxygenated blood throughout our whole body. Um, and it helps our nervous system. So if you're someone who has anxiety or worries a lot, um, this can be something that's really helpful to you. And the very best thing about it is that all it, all, all it takes is one single mindful breath. That's it. You don't have to sit for an hour. You don't even have to sit for 10 minutes. Um, closing your eyes and concentrating on your breath coming in and going out for one minute. I mean, one breath is really all it takes. So we're gonna do a little practice today. So um, if you'd like to join me, I invite you to find somewhere comfortable to sit down in your space. And you wanna make sure that you're somewhere that um, you're not gonna be disturbed for the next um, 10 minutes or so, and that you have a place to sit that feels really comfortable. Um, part of getting into your meditation practice is setting your space up so that it supports you, so that you feel calm as soon as you come into the space. So go ahead, take a moment and find where you'd like to sit. Now you can sit uh, like I am in a chair if that works for you. You could also sit on the floor with your legs cross leg. Um, you could even lie down on your back with your legs straight or bent. Um, you could sit on a little block or maybe a couple of books or something. Um, and when you find your seat, you want to try and make your hips a little bit higher than your knees. So if you need to prop up on a book or something, go for it. And otherwise, I want you just to bring your hands onto your thighs, or you can stack them on top of each other, or just let them fall to your sides, whatever's the most comfortable. And then you're going to start by taking a nice look at your body. So see if you can roll your shoulders up and back, yeah, and get your body awake. And maybe tilt your head left and right, just so that you can get 
attentive to how your body feels. And then sit up nice and tall. And while you feel the top of your head lifting up, at the same time, I want you to think about pressing your bottom and your feet down into the floor. So you're like a rubber band and you're stretching in two different directions. And now place your hand right onto your heart and just encourage that space to soften a little bit. So you might feel the, the skin underneath your hand kind of go down towards the back of your chair. And let that place remain soft and then keep lifting through the crown of your head. Nice. And now we're gonna take both of our hands and place them on either side of our rib cage just to feel um, the breath moving the body and to wake up our attention. So with your hands on the sides of your ribs, I want you to take a nice big breath in and try and press your rib cage into your hands. And as you exhale, let your ribs fall back towards one another. Out your mouth, let the air go. Do that again. Yeah, breathe in. Open the ribs sideways. Exhale, let them come back together. Okay, now no hands. Bring your hands back to your legs or your sides and see if you can move the ribs just like that. Breathe in. Feel them moving forward, back, side and side and exhale, everything softens right at that spot that we were touching earlier. Soft, soft heart. Okay. So now you've got an idea of what it feels like to pay attention to the breath, right? Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close our eyes and we're just gonna do that for a couple moments. And a lot of things are gonna happen during that time. Your mind is gonna start to get super active um, you're probably going to start thinking about things that you were supposed to do today or a conversation that you had. Maybe you'll start to feel um, some anxiety about your eyes getting closed or maybe you'll feel really, really calm. There's a ton of things that could happen and all you have to do is try and pay attention to what's happening. So you don't have to change anything or fix anything. I promise that you have everything that you need to sit with your eyes closed for a couple minutes and whatever comes up you're going to be able to handle so um yeah try and think of yourself as an investigator right now and all you're trying to do is see how do i work how does my mind work and how does my breath work and that's all there is to it so let's give it a go <clears throat> Just remember your tall spine and take one more of those big breaths in and let your rib cage open nice and wide. Inhale. And open your mouth and exhale. And as you exhale, let your eyelids soften and close. And then allow your breathing to be natural. And just notice where your attention is and how you feel. And whatever came up, whatever the answer to that question is, is perfectly excellent and exactly right. So you're doing it perfect. Nice. Now we're going to start here by taking a couple of those deep breaths in, but this time we'll just be still and I'll count. So I'll tell you how long to breathe in for and how long to breathe out for. And we're going to see if we can make our breath even longer um, than it is right now. So go ahead and we're going to breathe in for a count of five. So inhale for one two, three, four, five. Now hold the breath for six, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale for 
seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna breathe in for six, two, three, four, five, six. Hold for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out for nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. In for eight. for nine. Out for ten. And now allow your breathing to return to its natural state. And all you want to do for the next couple moments is just try and watch the breath come in and go out. So wherever you felt the body moving, see if you can put your attention onto that space. Maybe it's your belly. Maybe it's the tip of your nose. Maybe it's the ribs. And just notice the breath coming in and going out. Remember, you're an investigator, and all you need to do is see how it works. And if you think of something else, which is bound to happen, that's okay. Just encourage yourself as gently as you can to come back to watching your breath. you start to have, all you have to do is just notice that that's a thought. You can watch where it goes, what it does, but try and be detached from it. So it's something that's happening and you're able to observe it like a little boat out on the water. And you just watch it come through and gently leave. And then another boat. And just keep trying to pay attention to what is happening. You're seated in your safe place, paying attention to your breath and your thoughts. That's all.
notice if your mind drifted somewhere else. Perfectly normal. Just invite it back to the experience of sitting. Start to lengthen your breath in. And take a nice long exhale out your nose. Breathe in deeply. And let your eyes float open. And just notice what do you see in front of you, the light, the colors. And notice if you can hear any sounds around you. You can even see if you can notice the sounds outside of the building that you're in. And then finally, right before we go, I want you just to pay attention and see how do you feel right now? A little bit different than when we started maybe? A little bit calmer? So that's it. That's meditation. And um, yeah, that feeling of ease and centeredness is available to you in one single breath. All you gotta do is close your eyes and pay attention. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, I would love to answer them. And if not, then I hope that you see some of the benefits of this through the rest of your day and that you um, are able to come back to it at any time. Yeah. So thanks for having me, and um, I hope that you have a really beautiful and peaceful day, and we will see you again here sometime soon. Okay, have a nice day. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm glad to hear that. Take it easy.